Me shopping at Home Depot. Do you think it's too tall? No. It's still bad for my family. actually have a box. Now I have all this space. Uh, it's like, what are you doing? I'm going with you. You can't leave us. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Joy from AYJ Adventures. I am running errands with my mom. If you can tell, she tends to take corners a little hard. <laughs> Today's video is all about the jacked up jackknife sofa and what I did to fix it. So let's get to it. Today's interruption brought to you by my brother. Create just a box that's about 34 inches wide. Lay down on it and lay it like you would. Okay. <laughs> You can look under right now. So. Okay, so that's your water tank. Yeah, so you have to build the box around it. How do we get this thing out of here? There are bolts on the floor, but we have to take this thing off first. Oh, there it is. <sighs> well, we got one cushion off. I have a few projects. <laughs> Oh God. This is what June gloom looks like in California, except our clouds don't look that cool. But I have to stop saying R because I'm no longer a California resident. I have to. I don't live anywhere. That's exactly right. I am kind of homeless without a state to call my own. I have a home. I just don't have one in a specific state. I'm on my way to meet my brother. We are going to get some wood so we can make the frame of the bed. I've decided I'm not going to create a couch that actually pulls out into a wider bed. I'm just going to make a very comfortable couch that kind of is like a, a twin. It'll be like 32 inches by 78 inches. I have a plan. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's going to be fun to drive. Because you need two for the top, and then the sides, right? And then support. I don't know what I'm doing. I took wood shop in school, but I'm... What did I build? I built a napkin holder for my parents. So this is a whole new experience for me. Rip it. We're yeah. ripping it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where would you have L brackets? Around in the next style. Next style? Okay. Two of those. Two All of right. those. So this would be the corners, right? Okay. Go into the walls. <laughs> Here, hold that. What's that? It's my camera. You're staring oh. at it right now. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> it's, look, it's Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to go all the way about, but we'll just cut the supports going across that way. We're gonna have one all the way across on this. And then we'll figure out exactly how we wanna cross brace it and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But the big thing is just getting the box taken care of. Yeah. Measuring three times. <laughs> cut off that end. You want this end cut off? It's gonna be on the inside and it's gonna be inside the box. I was more worried about this knot than that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm exactly. sure someone would tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you don't wanna leave that knot in there. <laughs> but that's just my... That's, I'll go with what you All say. Right. So what do we think? I think it works. You like it? Yeah. So what you could do is a big drawer that the whole thing pulls Yeah, up. on wheels or something. This, obviously, you can't have a lip down here because you got to be able to pull out the drawer. Okay, you just gave me an idea. <laughs> what? That's exactly what you do. You build a drawer, you put something on wheels, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just wheel it out and you attach the thing to it and it goes right in. Before we actually complete this, I am I want to paint so that way it's finished there. Okay. So we have step one done. We have the box and then we have an idea. Good morning. It is uh, officially raining in Ohio. I have painted the wall. It looks a little bit more finished when we get new bed in place. We 
we are currently installing the braces that are going to go across the bed so it actually gives support. And then this, this is going to be a storage bay that I'm creating a drawer for. Let's go check out your new cart. I didn't even look at you. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's November, not January. <laughs> I'm cold! My blood thin since I moved to California. It was ridiculous. Shut up. And I don't care how stupid I look. I'm cold, so I'm gonna stay warm. That'll work. Let's put this back in. It's in the 40s. I hate this. I would much rather be doing this in Florida or someplace where it's at least 70 degrees. Although then I'd probably complain that I was sweating too much. So. have a box for my mattress that I'm gonna get to fit there. We paint these stairs. So I messed up. I wanted to do chalkboard paint. Could have taken these out, but the problem is they were actually glued on the refrigerator and I didn't want to risk damaging anything. So I figured might as well just tape it and paint it and it still look good. The tape that um, the parents had was a hold it did not protect it like it's supposed to, so I have to get in here and remove a lot of the tape that got stuck, and then I'm gonna paint it with an artist paintbrush that I have to use tweezers. I'm using this tool right here because this is giving me more light than oh, that light. <laughs> they always wanna go where I go. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. It's like, what are you doing? I'm going with you. You can't leave us. Then they're perfectly fine. So now I get to paint. So today I'm actually going to continue working on the bed area. Now I did get the wood size, which is three quarter inch, but these are, they're not quite the right size. So that is the final edging. This is what he does when he refuses to go where I need him to. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, we're going inside. So I know you just want to stare at the squirrels. Maybe not. Maybe this won't work. Okay, can you find that particular side where you've got... That? Do we have enough? On the curtains? Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, you're gonna hit me right where my knee leg is, right here. It's like, whoop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I guess I can move on the top of the bed. And then you want these a little longer. Yep. There's the final product, my bed. That's it. I'm very happy with how the bed turned out. It is very comfortable and I've actually, I've actually already taken a nap on it with the dogs. We slept perfectly. Next video, we changed the dinette and it ends up giving me so much more floor space. Until next time, see you then.